good day everybody how are you today i hope you're doing good the first snow here in new york we are so excited we went running around the house like crazy people it's always fun the first few times then it's not just this beautiful backdrop for this lovely christmas and holiday time of year and now that we're stuck home a lot all the little things mean so much more to us how about you certain things like I can't help myself. I can't help myself. These are the best. And you know what the best of these are? This is such a weird thing to say. I like to buy them from the Dollar Tree because sometimes they taste, well, they don't taste, but they get a little stale. So like the little crunchies in them are even more crunchy. I know it's so bizarre, but you can get them anywhere. Buy them by the case. It's my one holiday season thing that we really love and the kids love like the Kinder Eggs. I love these. Anybody else? Anybody else? That's my thing. So I have some packages that came and I'm going to open for you because I'm starting to wrap to put under the Christmas tree. I'm not opening. I got some sneakers from Adidas and I'm not opening those because I don't want them to see if they happen to see my video, but I'm going to open up the rest. I'm not going to swatch anything because they're presents. So first things first, we had a little haul from Morphe. I got some, this is highlighter. We got two lippies. This is going part of a basket I'm giving my mother-in-law. And then I got the Lisa Frank eyeshadow palette for my niece. It's actually between that or something else I'm gonna show you. So can you guys help me? She is obsessed with the next thing. But I also know that my sister-in-law bought her a few things from it. So this is the Lisa Frank palette. I don't want to open it, but it's between this. Tell me this. Between the Lisa Frank and from Melt Cosmetics, they had, can you tell what it is? If you are obsessed with it like she is or obsessed with Broadway or the movies. Yeah, they did a collab with Beetlejuice. So I bought a few things. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I can hear you guys saying it in the back of my head. So those are niece's presents. This I actually got for me. It's from Manny MUA. He has a company called Lunar Beauty. He is a YouTuber here. And this is actually for me. Some of my favorite, favorite, favorite lip glosses in the whole world. Uh-huh. Out of everything high-end and everything. His formula is great. The only thing I don't like is it too much comes out and it gets like really messy here. So I have to clean it off all the time. But with his new uh, drop for the holidays, I just got the lip gloss. I don't need any more palettes. Okay, the next item. is from Victoria Beckham. Her makeup is some of the best makeup ever made. The packaging is stunningly beautiful. The products are amazing. She really put her time and effort. I know it's expensive. I, I said recently she never ever has a sale and the next day she had 20% off sale. I think that's the first and only time I've ever seen that happen. Although her company is only a few years old. And she sends a nice card wishing you and your loved ones a safe, happy, healthy holiday season. Came packaged beautifully. You guys, look how she sends her packaging. First of all, it's, so it doesn't break. And then it, it come these beautiful, beautiful bags. And then this box. You know, it's nice to know when you spend a lot of money on someone's products that they actually care about you and put thought into it. So that I appreciate. And of course, part of your money is paying for it. She sent a posh fringe lollipop. That's right. I think if you spent like $75 or more, you got a free lollipop. But in it is this beautiful box. Look how beautifully this comes packaged. It's a picture of her. And this is Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader. It's so rejuvenating primer. And there's two, one has a tint to it and one doesn't. And her beautiful packaging is this black and brown paint. It's very heavy weighted. And so I got that. 
It's some of the best. It really, it truly is. You get what you pay for. If I had to give away everything, top, definitely top five things I would keep is Victoria Beckham and skincare. And next, this is going in part of a basket for my mother and my daughter, and there might be something in here for me. So this is from Belloc Tea. And if you've ever been to Tiffany's, they have Tiffany tea, you can buy it online. And this is the company that makes it. Belloc. Look how beautiful it comes. We got a note. And it says, with love at Christmas time. This is from the Belloc team. And the teas are come in these bags. They're like vacuum packaged bags. And let me tell you the ones that we got. We got the breakfast tea. This is the one for me. Ah, the Afghani chai and the tea fiends, tea fiends. Now with my tea kettle, um, there's a Christmas time. It's for my mother-in-law. Uh, and then little, little Dickens. I thought my daughter would like that. And this breakfast tea. So we are very excited about that. And I also let it get cold sometimes and then use it for iced coffee. Oh, I don't have my thing. And then I drink it like that. So next, I don't know if I can open all this, but this I bought. Jewelry for my daughters. To get a fox. So I got her a few pairs of earrings. She's right up the stairs because she has a lot of holes and she's been saying, I need earrings. The ones that don't hurt my ear. Because she has the same thing I do. A lot of the metals we're allergic to. Some of them we can wear for a little while. They do make them hypoallergenic, even though they're not real gold or silver. So, yeah, so I got her some earrings. I don't want to show any more because I don't want her to see. From H&M, which takes forever. Sweater. On. I'm just moving it tag so you can actually see it. Isn't that beautiful? It has pearls. So I bought, I bought a few sweaters. This one has these. And then <clears throat> it's a turtleneck and it's like sage green. But the last thing is probably what you've been waiting for. Dun, dun, dun. It's a designer box. Sorry. Okay, so here we go. I think they're quiet now. Give them a bone. I think they know by now what I do. They're like, let me bark when that silly camera is on so I can have a bone. So here it is, a box. I hope it's a good one. Receipt. And if, I know everyone always wants to know, this one's from Georgia. I find I get good and bad from every place I send it from. But if you want to know and you have an algorithm you think works, this one's from Georgia. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see what I see first on top. We got some sunnies. These I feel a little wide. Do you see who they are? Do you see, do you see, do you see? We got some Chanel Sunnies. They are like tortoise shell. Can you see that? Tortoise shell. And these are a great shape. These are real. They say Chanel will have it is scripted up here. Right. Sometimes you won't see it because people might have gotten a prescription put in it or something. So just because it's not there does not mean they're not real. And, but it'll say like Chanel up here. These are actually really nice. Yeah, all right. 
I love when they don't have those things because it doesn't get caught on my hair. Chanel Sunnies, it's like shell. Abalone is like shell. And it's there, these are in good condition. I didn't see any scratches, a little dirt. So thank you so much. And it's from Lafayette 148. It's this beautiful orange blouse. They might consider this a coat, but it's like this oversized crop blouse. Hold on. This beautiful Lafayette 148 orange blouse. I'm gonna actually use this, I think, as a coat. So I'm not sure if they consider this a coat or not, but it has the wide sleeves, it's oversized. It's like a shorter size. Now oh, this is interesting. So you can have it, the collar down like that, or you can have it up higher. This would be really nice with a winter white turtleneck underneath it. And then for a pop of color with a pair of jeans or a black skirt. There's no size tag in it. I'm thinking it's a size, an oversized medium, maybe a large. Okay, so this is 51% linen, 49% viscose, but it's definitely, it's missing the size tag and I don't see any dirt or anything wrong with it. So I assume that's what's wrong with it, is the size tag. I might have to try that on because she's pretty. Next, we got some more clothes. Oh, all right. Got these beautiful brown pants. And they have a button and a zip. And then you just put that over there. That's nice when you have a blouse to tuck in. And they're from Burberry, London. And these are a size US 10. And there's like the tags. These are gorgeous, and I don't see anything wrong with them. And these are beautiful. And I have this beautiful Burberry blouse the other day in a medium. So if you're a medium blouse, to go with the blouse, the brown pants. Well, we got some more clothes, but it's a two-piece. So, who is this by? Who is this by? Oh my gosh, we got a two-piece outfit. It's tweed. And I love it. It's like the A line, so it goes thinner and then flares out a little, like an A. That's why they call it an A line. It's a raw hem. It has a zipper in the back. And it has a hook and eye closure. How many people use those? I'm not sure. Can you see what the zipper says? size this is hold on and here's the jacket oh it snaps i like a snap i cannot believe they sent me a two-piece set i do see one of the buttons needs to be fastened but that's all that's wrong with this whole thing hello 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 and how are you i'll take it here's the jacket you can fold it up Leave it long, a two-piece set. What? This is gorgeous. Let me show you who they're from. Prada. But I don't see a size. Let's look. Size 42. What is a size 42? Eight. This looks like it will fit a size four to six. I see one pull, one. And I could just, because it's lined, I literally, I could just pull it through to the other side. We've got a Prada outfit, so this is a 42. What size is the skirt? Is it the same size? Made in Italy. This is virgin wool, linen, and cotton, it says right in here, it's a size 44. The jacket's a 40, jacket's a 42. The skirt is a 44. So this looks like it would fit like an eight skirt. I can't believe that we got 
Prada whole set Lafayette 148 Burberry and Chanel. Oh my God. So these are Gucci mules. And they're the Gucci print and have a Gucci placard. What? What is wrong with these? They have a little use here. A little use in here. You know, some of the Gucci's worn off a little bit. Those are in great shape. There's a little rub there. These are wood wrapped with leather. I mean, there's a little use. And that's where, if you wear them with pants, that's where the pants hit. And there's the bottom. These are a 7B. So if you're a 7B, those are gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say gorgeous. And the last item is a big going away bag. And I actually know what this is because I bought one very similar last Christmas time for my, my husband. And this is a weekender bag. And I'll show you what. I have to get through this quickly because they're gonna keep coming in and out the door. This is from Giorgio Armani. It's a men's weekender bag. It is very heavy nylon and leather. It has a front pocket there. It has two front handles and it has the name tag. And the reason it's in here is the front handle is missing the piece that's coming across here. So I'm sure that it can be fixed pretty easily if you take it to a cobbler. It has a shoulder strap. You can make it all different lengths. And the only little thing I see besides that little thing is a dirt mark there and a little dirt mark in the front. They will both come off. This is heavy. So I just have to get that fixed. This is gorgeous. Let me just look inside. And the really special thing, look you guys, it comes with a lock. That's cool. And then the inside is the canvas. And wow, she looks like brand new inside. She doesn't look like she was used really except for maybe one time. And so we got Giorgio and Lonnie bag. This is definitely one of my favorite, favorite boxes. Only because it's like useful things, things that people will use now. And nothing is really out of date. It's very, very in style and in vogue. So I'm happy to share that with you. If there's anything you see, let me know. One last thing, because you heard the doorbell ring. And ooh, it is from dun, 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 Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a present for a friend, but I don't know how it's wrapped. So let me see if I could show you. Ooh, they sent some free perfume, which I'll give her with that too. So it's like a Glow Secrets mystery box. And so this is what I bought her. It comes in this lovely box. Okay, it's wrapped. I don't want to unwrap it because it's a present. But it's a mystery box from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is their, it was a Cyber Week deal. And I might even use this to have extra wrapping in for her. So, that's it. I, let me tell you what I'm doing the rest of the day. The rest of the day, I am going through things. I'm sending everything off to the real, real again. I have a new lady, the girl Carrie, who I always worked with, who spelled it the same way. She and her family had moved. So we're still friendly, we're still friends. And she introduced me to another lady. Her name is Pat. So if you guys need someone you're interested to help you out, if she can't help you, if you're not local, she'll find someone to help you. Every few months they have deals. The December months are as follows. You get a $100 site credit. If you send anything in to be listed through their store or through a local center, if you send it to the warehouse, you don't. But what you do is you can have your representative, Pat, or if she introduces you to someone, send it to a local place so you can have the site credit. So that's the first thing. The second thing is if you send in an egg, it can be Kate Spade to an Hermes. 
It has to be a name brand bag. Can't be a no name or a really cheap bag. If you send in a purse or a piece of jewelry, it can be unbranded, but it has to be something good. You get $100 site credit. So you can send in a Kate Spade bag. It has to be something they accept though. If they don't accept it, then you don't get a credit. Now they are a little picky with their stuff. Just be careful. And I'm not being sponsored. I'm just trying to help you out because I know a lot of people have been asking about the Real Real lately because things changed at Thread Up and people weren't happy. They are very picky with what they take. They don't like things to have any kind of flaws. And the last thing is if you have a named brand piece of jewelry uh, that's worth $750 or more, they list it for $750 or more, you will get 80% commission on it. The highest commission you can get on their site is 70%. $750 or more, you get 80%. So those are their three deals for December. And I'm trying to get things in so people can use their Christmas money in January to buy some stuff. So I'm excited to do so the rest of the day. That's what I'm working on. So I don't think I'll be back. So until next time, see you tomorrow. Ciao. Be you. And if you see me again, I'll say goodbye again.